before I make this video right here, man, and it's your boy Domination that's back in the basement. Chuckle the deuce is how we do text, baby. Man, I does back and do this, do this, do this. Real man rise up, fake man rise down. Real woman rise up, real woman rise up, fake woman rise down. Practice where preacher preach on. In today's topic, we're going to talk about is before I make this video, like I said again, you know, the only place you ever get right back video. But I got to show you what's really disturbing me. Everybody talk about this brother right here is Ben Ben uh uh bit bitch Ben uh Carlson Ben Carlson man check this clown dude out man check this clown ass motherfucker out listen to this So back in 2008, then Senator Barack Obama vowed to unite this country behind the lofty ideals of hope and change, but that obviously did not happen. And now President Obama's Democratic allies, they're now resorting to their old campaign tactics, trying to cling to office by dividing America across racial lines. Now, some notable figures are fed up. Watch this. More people are on food stamps than ever. More people are getting wealthier than ever. What cuts are they talking about? More people are getting government subsidized health care than ever. What cuts are they talking about? It's all a way to racialize voting in this country. This president is the most racist president there has ever been in America. He is purposely trying to use race to divide Americans. Anyone who investigates it even a little bit knows it's hogwash. Joining me now with Reaction, the author of the brand new book, One Vote, Fox News contributor Dr. Benjamin Carson. Um, most of the statistics that Ben will be using is true. We have 50 million Americans on food stamps, 50 million in poverty, or near those numbers. Um, we've had a very high increase in these numbers over time. I, th I don't view the president as racist as much as a, a, a rigid, yeah. radical ideologue of the left. Um, what is your take on it? Uh, I think you're exactly right. I don't believe that he's racist per se, but uh, his ideal of what America should be is really not consistent with the ideals of the founders of this nation. And uh, we have, we've had 50, maybe 60 years now of progressive policies, and what they have done is they have halted to tremendous progress, particularly in the, uh, in the black community. This is a community that is very, very strong historically, that withstood the, the tragedies of slavery and the, and the post-slavery era, the Jim Crowism and segregation, and still was strong, intact, had intact families, had values. And uh, then once the progressive left uh, began to bestow all their wonderfulness on this community, that's when it really began to disintegrate. Yeah. And I think what, what needs to be emphasized is in the black community today in America, there's control of a trillion dollars worth of wealth. They need to learn how to turn those dollars over in their own community a couple of times before they send them out. That's what creates wealth. Reach back, pull others with you. And we need to be talking about what happens when a young girl has a baby out of her Let me show you. Let me show you. Stops. See, I view the president as the radical ideologue, inexperienced and incompetent. I mean, and a little bit narcissistic. Those are my descriptions of him. But let me give one statistic, and there are many that I could put up. I'll just put this one up, and that's black Americans on, on food stamps. You know, we were at 6 million back in 2008. Wow, okay. And just in four short years, it's 11 million. Just shy of 11 million. It's nearly a doubling of the number of black Americans on food stamps, yet 95% of the black community voted for this man. Why? Uh, right, because people... Are, are becoming dependent, and it's intergenerational dependencies uh, based on these policies. Now, I think this is a wonderful opportunity, quite frankly, for Republicans to present a different picture, a way up and out of poverty. We need to start talking about some of the, the programs like uh, micro lending that allow people through their own efforts to rise. I think many Americans would be happy to invest in their fellow Americans to see them move from dependency. We're going to have to find a way to allow all of those mothers who are giving birth to be able to get their GED, be able to get their associates, master's degrees, and become self-reliant and teach that to their families. That's how we break these cycles of dependency. But we're going to have to think about these things and put yeah. those programs right. out there. Republicans are going to win tomorrow, but we can't be satisfied with that. We're going to have to put out programs that are understandable and intelligible and that work. A bold. Oh, man. You know, 
you you hear this right? Fuck Sean Hannity and fuck this guy right here. You know, uh, Benjamin Carlson. Every year you hear about this. You know, they want to blame the Republicans. If it ain't Republicans they want to blame, all they want to blame uh, uh, Democrats. See, it's like the Crips and Bloods in politics, man. I ain't going to lie to you. They, they play whites and blacks against each other. And I'm going to say this to whites. Y'all fools if y'all believe a lot of the stuff y'all that y'all people are saying. Same thing, black community. You know what? This is why I'm not a Democrat or Republican, and a damn sure ain't no fucking liberal. I don't have nothing against Obama. It's sad that Obama, that he got the most death threats regardless. If you don't like the man, don't vote for the man or don't agree with his policy. If you with the man, vote him. But I'm going to tell you something else, man. This is 2014, and people still have that dumbass issue about food stamp. Last time I checked, yeah, there are black community have food stamps, but there are white people have food stamps. There's Asians. There's there's every other race, but they always say to the black community. See, they generalize, and just like I can't generalize one group of whites. I don't know too many of them. I can't generalize Asian, but that's what that's what these people are doing right here. See, these what you call these ancient ancient Babylon mystery archer mystery schools. It's it, it's these people, man. Excuse me, excuse me, right there, right there. I'm just putting out right there. I mean, it's these people. It's, it's these people that's, that's coming out saying all this type of nonsense that comes out of their mouth and stuff they say. You know, do I vote? I never vote. I never vote Democrat or Republican. I feel like I don't trust them because they, they say one thing. You have to trust yourself before you trust anybody. I told my father years ago. That they've been saying about this change stuff for years. I hear people say it all the time. Change. Or is it change for the better for the system? Or they change for the better for the people? Which is it? Answer. If you ask anybody about this, men and women cannot tell you what that answer. Look, it's sad that people are on welfare. And they should have a better health care. They should have. But instead, there are some people don't want a better health care. I mean, don't want people to have a better health care, have a better health because they suffer. Because they feel that they, their families only can get a better health care than anybody. And also, they can't get their damn money back. They want you to be more like them. They want you to be selfish. And Republicans are more selfish than Democrats. But Democrats, what they do, they like to help out people. There's nothing wrong with it, but stop doing it. Because some people just don't appreciate it. They help out too much, but they want to be more like Republicans. See, it goes back to the Romans and the goddamn Greeks. It goes back to that, who controlled the whole entire city, controlled the whole entire people. And people controlled other people from the, the, the system controlled over by the people. Without the system, people wouldn't, could not re, re and re-enduring everything. Now, some people can do it without the system. Some people feel like they can't. Without the people, these they wouldn't have nothing. Do I get mad at rich people? No. Some of them, they do look down on people. They, and there are some of them shit on homeless people. Or they think that they're going to get more than they do. Or take something out of them. And then you got the people look look down on look down on, 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 on rich people. They do look down on rich people because they, they think, oh, they just jealous because they ain't have anything. Yeah, some people are jealous of that, but there's no reason to get jealous to anybody. But nobody don't deserve to be poor, but everybody wants to deserve to be rich. And they're trying to help out the poor for they can be more rich like that. Let's be honest, man. This this whole thing, Democrats and left wing and right wing, they, they are two both wings and the same dirty ass birds. They plocking against each other. What do you think the left brain and the right brain is about? Where you think that the right, the right, the right, the right hand, the left hand. See, see, your right hand is 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 is, is the right hand of God. They say the right hand, the left hand is the uh, uh, the people that those who make the wrong path, the wrong path with the devil. See, it's like that. This whole Democrat and Republican, and they will, and people will. I'm gonna say this to Christians, and Christians know this too. They always talking about Jesus Christ. Oh, hell, merit to Jesus, right? 
I mean, all, 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 all have hallelujah to Jesus, whatever you call of, of, of hallelujah to God. But they will never talk about Lucifer as a brother of Jesus Christ. They will never say that. All Satan's, they, oh, they, they'll say it, but but the Christians, they won't say it. They go, they're going to be quiet on that subject. They always talk about the secret side. There's no secret to it. They, they're showing you every day what they're doing. And politicians and Democrats, they all in on it. Whites, blacks, everybody's into this. I don't trust none of them. They say one thing. They say, uh, don't say one thing and don't say the other. Or you're going to be both. You can't be both. Some people say you got to choose. And that's what they're trying to get blacks to do. They want they want black community to choose. They're trying to do whites the same damn thing. You choose your own damn side, your own destiny. These people are sick, man. I mean, they, 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 politicians need to be held accountable for them. some of the stuff they say. <laughs> I'm going to say, fuck you, fuck you, and everything you stand for. And then you got the women. You can't tell them anything because they think that, look, I feel bad for they out there. They being raped. They, it's, it's sad that they have they raise babies by themselves. It's sad that they have to take care of the kids. Yeah, nobody asked you to do it. You decided to do that. But there are men out here who do want to step up. But there are some women who won't let them. And women know it. And you know who the men I'm talking about. But the men who don't give a damn, you don't say anything. I, I, they, they hate that because they know good guys still run in the system. That's just the way it is. And then, then you got bad boys don't run nothing. Let's be honest. People get mad, but it's true. Same thing men. Men don't say nothing when he do the good woman wrong, but the disrespect for nasty women. Oh, he, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, he don't say, he, he'll he say something about the good woman. He done her wrong. That's why I meant. But the bad girl, he won't say anything. See, see, two two wrongs don't make it right, but one right can never make it wrong, right? It, it, it's it's sick as me, but 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 I gotta thank the uh, Harvey Superboy this that 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 to send this video for me because it's it's good to send this video because we gotta hold them accountable, and that goes to anybody, white community, black community. Think for y'all because these, these these people out out outdated on these people because. Everything they say out of none, they, they say it every year. They say it now. Oh, we got to do this and do that. Don't say it. Just do it. That's my point. If you're going to say you're going to do something, then just do it. I respect a real man and a real woman. Saying it's not, not doing anything. Do anything. Doing it is doing it is what counts. I'm out of here, man. That's all I got to say about that. It just This is why I just don't fuck with politicians. This is why, because some of the stuff they come out of their mouth, and it's nobody shouldn't have to deal with death threats. Nobody, regardless they 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 the bad guy or not, nobody wants to deal with that. If you don't like that person, don't deal with it, don't support them. But you can't blame these politicians because they got some issues what goes on in their lives. But I'm gonna show you a video about this. This guy used to say this about pol politicians. I don't, I, I'm. Uh, Y'all might not heard his name, but excuse me. I will find it. I will find it. I will find it. He he's in there. I will find it. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Gotta listen to this. Listen to this.
American citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well informed, well educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they get the fire mm -hmm. through the overboard 30 fucking years ago. Mm -hmm. They don't want that. You hear what George Carlson said? You hear, the, you hear this guy, this Caucasian Bill guy said, it's a big club and we ain't in it. They own every damn thing. They own the banks. They own the music industry. They own the computers. They own the video games. They own every damn thing. They even own drugs, legal drugs or unlegal drugs. They own all this stuff, but you can't tell nobody nothing and don't think they own these two political parties because they do. And you know that it is not just Obama is the problem. It's the people right behind it that, that put Obama in there. Obama just is a proxy. He's a proxy of position. In other words, he's a, he's a public figure. He's a public figure. He got to go by what people tell him. Just like any other president. If you want to get mad at him, you need to get mad at the people for everybody else. What they're sitting there self putting themselves in in in. in, in and in in situation what they're doing and you got to get mad at yourself what are you doing i say you want some real change make some real changes to yourself and make a change in the nation into the rest of the world and make an impact for the whole entire world whole entire people and the whole entire around the globe all right and that's that's the topic i just want to talk about today all right and it's your boy domination this is back in the base and show the deuces how we do the text baby until next time all right all right peace and i'm out